Tonight, Nick Jones looks into how the coronavirus is impacting USC and other colleges in the Palmetto State. As the pandemic continues, colleges and universities are figuring out how the pandemic is impacting them and how they'll be handling it. Some schools have decided to post their coronavirus testing data on their website. One of those schools include the University of South Carolina. Right now, there's 1,026 active cases at the school. 1,017 include students. The other nine are employees. About a week and a half ago, the number of active cases were only 86. So far, the school has conducted 12,814 tests. The total positive rate is 10.2%. One school in the Midlands who hasn't seen many cases on their campus is Columbia College. Now we have some distinct advantages. It's a small school. We have a campus that's probably built for about 1,000 and we have 100 uh, day students and 300 evening colleges. So we're able to accommodate them. Dr. Peter Mitchell, the interim president, says Columbia College has only had two positive cases of COVID-19, both being students who live off campus. Those students are also staying at home. The school keeps a weekly tally of cases and sends out a report on Friday afternoons. We are reporting what we have when we received them. Obviously, we did it. We had it Friday, so we'll be starting to do that this week. Uh, it was only our first week on campus. Um, but we'll continue to do that. Um, they've been supportive. We've been following all the DHEC rules, both in terms of the classrooms and in the dining hall and on campus as well. Dr. Mitchell believes their culture of caring and the guidelines in place will keep the campus a safe place to learn. If a student does test positive, here's their plan. They're then advised to go home. If they are in contact with them, we have a, a floor within the residence hall for resident students that will quarantine. Uh, and if they do contract it, then we have a house that we're using, but they can only stay there up to 48 hours before they need to go home. Headed to the upstate, Clemson University has had several cases. According to their dashboard, 272 students and 64 employees have tested positive, making the total 336 cases since June the 5th. More than 8,000 people have tested, making it 3.9% positive. Some people have wondered if college students testing positive for the virus are included in South Carolina's numbers. South Carolina DHEC tweeted on Tuesday saying in part, students residing in South Carolina for school will be included in South Carolina numbers, reported out by county based on their current address. Cases at USC likely contributed to the increase in Richland County. Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. Well, since USC has ramped up its testing, students have been seen waiting in long lines to get tested on campus. Here's how school officials plan to fix that. We're uh, having more testing during the week, um, but, but reducing the number of hours. So, so more opportunities for people to spend less time in line. And the other is we've created some go teams and the go teams are going to take the test to the people. They're going to take them to faculty and staff, to students. So these strategies are going to reduce that, that length of time they're spending in line and also affording them an opportunity to continue doing their work or their studies and we just show up with the test. The saliva based testing is the saliva based testing is exclusively for USC students, faculty and staff. Students can get tested Monday through Friday from 10 in the morning until noon at Davis Field 2 on campus. You must register online before you arrive. We also reached out to several other colleges in the area to see what uh, conditions that they may be experiencing. Midlands Tech says since the start of the pandemic, 25 students and 11 faculty of staff members have tested positive. A reporting system is available for students and employees who experience symptoms. The school says college leaders are working with those who are positive to create individual learning plans to continue studying while quarantined. Allen University says it uses a vendor for its testing. The vendor contacts DHEC with any positive results. At this time, the school will not provide a daily breakdown of new cases. The university requires testing on a continual basis throughout the school year for students, faculty and staff. The testing is free, by the way. If a student tests positive, there is a designated quarantine space on campus. A university spokesperson says there are currently no clusters of cases due to affiliated Greek life or other activities. Presbyterian College says it has two active cases on campus. Students who test positive are being asked to return home to quarantine for 14 days or stay in the Carroll International House on campus.